Good day and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. In this video I want to talk about expeditions and basically what are they, why you should do them and basically how they all work. So expeditions is a function you unlock as your account ranks up uh, as you progress you know, mainly through episode 2 you unlock it quite early on. Uh, essentially what it amounts to is three distinct different boss fights uh, who you access through either being invited by other players or alternatively uh, by finding open recruitment uh, instances or by obviously getting your own wanted posters which you get from basically completing any content. So completing any PvE content will unlock you uh, a wanted poster and that's kind of what we're going to talk about here. So there's three avenues. You can be invited by your guild or by friends. You can obtain wanted posters. These you get by completing any PvE content. So hunts, spirit altars, um, adventure, anything like that can essentially give you a wanted poster uh, for any boss, uh, essentially. And you can use those wanted posters to enter the fight against the boss. So. It is something that uh, you know, you're able to basically do or your crew passively. There is a time limit and a limit to the amount you're going to hold at any given time. Now the actual battles of the bosses. So each boss is actually distinctly different and have distinct uh, kind of mechanics. You know, One boss, for example, doesn't do much damage until they rage. Uh, then the one boss essentially you know, constantly debuffs you, one boss constantly buffs himself. Uh, there are certain mechanics to them, I'm not going to go into it too deep because I want to do a video on select teams or what to build when you're tackling on each one for nice and effective expeditions. But for now, you can just slot in whichever characters. The primary reason for expeditions is not actually to kind of dominate the boss yourself, at least not in the beginning. Uh, but it's to get completions. So it's to score some damage for yourself, uh, make sure that you leave the boss in an area whereby you can defeat them. And basically, uh, you can then open it up to inviting to other people, your guild, friends, etc. And thus you're able to essentially uh, get yourself some good rewards. Now, it is important to understand that there is a little bit of a stamina cost. Uh, it's not actually that much. So the first attempt is free for you if you are the person that obviously started the wanton poster. And uh, the second attempt costs a little bit of stamina. The third attempt costs a little bit less. Uh, so it is some stamina cost, but it's a very negligible compared to the rewards that you gain. Uh, An expedition, you can gain some pretty nice rewards quite quickly. Uh, and that's the main focal area. A large reason as to why you battle uh, these bosses is to obtain the points at the end. So although they do dra drop some good resources, a lot of them due for reforging or further gear customization, uh, in this sense essentially your main priority uh, is to essentially get the points. And the points are where uh, the big kind of reward structures of expedition comes into play and where players are able to score and earn uh, quite a fair chunk of really 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 good rewards so yeah obviously you can enter multiple ones at different times you can also enter multiple ones with different bosses you can enter multiple ones with the same bosses so it's not anything too crazy um, you should be able to do a lot of them at once which is what tends to make the rewards quite good uh, especially if you're first starting out with the expedition you're able to rack up the points quite nicely and net yourself some pretty good rewards in the beginning and let's talk about the rewards because that's obviously the main focal point of why we do certain content so when you beat the bosses you'll obtain rewards uh, you get rewards from actually beating the bosses themselves uh, you also get a little bit of gold when you take on the boss so you get a little bit of gold uh, for the initial taking on of the boss as well then of course you also obtain rewards from the actual rewards track so now each boss has a little rewards track kind of similar to like a battle pass i guess uh, whereby you obtain rewards based on how many times you've defeated them and how many points uh, you've obtained now it's not actually that difficult to get far up this so that's why i say you can get some pretty good rewards quite quickly uh, you know, Malagra, 
equipment charms, etc. And if you're doing all three bosses quite evenly, uh, you can get there pretty, pretty quickly. But that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye.